nail polish because... Away from praying Isis, a part of the United States' recent history is stored. Nadine Saylor, a Black Lives Matter activist, rents this storage unit to preserve placards and items. Protesters attached these signs to a temporary fence around the White House in the summer 2020, following the murder of African-American George Floyd. Nadine salvaged these items from destruction. If there were no one watching that fence, it would have been destroyed. And I am glad that I circumstances led me to be able to stay. I made some sacrifices, as I said, but um, I'm glad that I did because people felt it was important to come and put their story there and I'm glad I was able to stay there to, to keep the voices. Placards reading Stop Killing or Abolish the Carceral States are just two of the hundreds of slogans protesters chanted during the historic mobilization against racism. During nearly a year, Nadine Saylor voluntarily repaired the more than 300 taping signs back together and stored them. In order to protect them from the alteration of time, Nadine heads every six weeks to the Enoch Pratt Library in Baltimore, where the placards are scanned and digitized. It does feel like uh, recording history, recording a particular moment in time, um, you know, uh, Nadine has talked about people traveling from all over the U.S. Um, just to put their signs, to put their stories um, on the fence. Um, there's a lot of difficult content in this collection. Um, there's a lot of things that, you know, people might be offended about, people might be surprised to find out, but I think it's important that we don't um, try to diminish um, the reasons why uh, the Black Lives Matter protests occurred. At least 600 items have already undergone the meticulous process. Enoch Pratt Library collaborates on the project with Washington's Public Library. Once the digitalization is done, the two women plan to donate their collection to different associations, museums or interested businesses so that history will never be forgotten.